Ratios and proportions. One dollar for three servings, or two dollars for nine servings. Are they in proportion? Well, there are a couple. We can we can reason this out, right? So one for three. That would be two dollars for six servings and three dollars for nine servings. So not two dollars for nine servings. So that's one way of seeing it. The answer is no. The other way of seeing it is to say, I mean, this is a more technical way, but you could just do one over three equals two over nine. You could cross multiply and you could say, so one, you could say, okay, this is times two and this is times three. So that's, that's another way of saying no, they have to be the same here. Or finally, you could just cross multiply and do one times nine. Uh, and then you could say two times three and see that they're not equal. Nine doesn't equal six. So anyway, you slice it, no. Four tree is to 21 bushes. So we do four trees is to 21 as two trees is to seven bushes. And we can go ahead and do our cross multiply thing. So we'll get 28 equals 42. And actually it doesn't, right? So those fractions aren't equal. So that's not in proportion. So the answer is no. Nine chocolates to 21 gummies equals three chocolates to seven gummies. Okay, so we can do nine times seven is 63. 21 times three is 63. Okay, those are equal, right? So we are in proportion there. Three dolls to 24 cars equals one doll to eight cars. Well, that's 24 and that's 24. And these two things are equal, so that's equal. So these are in proportion. Two trees to six bushes equals one tree to three bushes. You guys probably know that these are in proportion. You could simplify this and get one third, but you could also just do the cross multiply thing if you don't want to think. Six, that's equal to six. So they're the same. $2 for three hours or $6 for nine hours. Let's cross multiply. And realize, hey, they're the same. One gold for five silver, or two gold for 15 silver. Fifteen equals ten. No, it doesn't. So these are not in proportion. You know, it's fun. You could actually set up the the proportion a different way too. You could say, I want to put the dollar, I want to say $4 over $8 is $5, five tickets over 15 tickets. If you've gotten the flow with what I was doing, you don't have to do this one differently, but as long as you're sort of consistent, you can go dollar to ticket equals dollar to ticket, or you can go dollar to dollar equals ticket to ticket. You just have to be consistent because when you cross multiply, you're going to get the same stuff. 60, 40, not equal. So a fun thing is if we had set up the cross multiply the, the way we have been, four out of five equals eight out of 15, right? You get the same things, you get 60 and you get 40, right? All you've done is swap these two, which won't affect the cross multiplication. So no, 60 doesn't equal 40. One out of three equals two out of six. Yeah, it does. You know that. 
6 equals 6. Yes. And 2 out of 6 equals 6 out of 12. That's 24. That's 36. Those don't equal. All right. Let's take a peek here. Okay, seems like the same thing. So 4 out of 6 equals 2 out of 3. Those seem the same, right? 12, 12, yes. All right, guys. Well, have a good one, and I'll see you next time.